Hi, I'm Chad Corns from the GWS Giants, and these are my top 10 current South Australian players. Here's Corns, oh. the Adelaide lead by 14, they lead by 20! What a goal by Corns! Yeah, it might be a little bit biased here, putting Kane in at number 10, but uh, if you look at his record, four best and fairest, a you know, premiership player, um, in my opinion, one of the best negating you know, taggers that, I, that I've ever seen playing the game. An elite runner, and um, if you're playing him, you know him for a really tough day. Corns decides he'll go all the way from outside 50. Raining goal support Adelaide, and jubilation for Corns. In the opposite pocket, Ebert. Back across the goal front, some courage showing there. That's a wonderful mark. As good as you'll see, Kane Corns. Bernie Vince comes in at number nine. One of the best players I've met off the footy field. Great to have a beer with. Um, apart from that, you know, obviously great skills, an elite runner. Uh, plays really well in big games and you know, pretty dangerous around goal too. Well laid it down to space, but Atkinson on to it. Tries to break the tackle, can't. Vince getting a lot of it early. Holds up in the tackle. Gets a left foot away. And bounces it through. <laughs> And they flick it over to one of their best goal kickers in Bernie Vince. And that's why they flicked it over to him. He lands their 17th. Yeah, Bryce Gibbs, number eight. Very smooth, one of the best kicks in the AFL. And um, came on the day. Brilliant stuff from Gibbs, and he finishes with a goal. And McFarlane can run into an open goal, but he took forever, oh. and he's gone. Gibbs' rundown was just sensational. Gibbs decides to go off the right. Gives it plead. He had to. It's a big, big roost. It's a goal. What a way to start the term. Amy Tartlett comes in at number seven. Had a lot of trouble with his body, but if he can get that right, I think he'll be one of the best players in the competition. Tough, um, outstanding skills. Reads the play really well, and I think a huge year is coming for Hange. Low ball out wide, and good mark taken by Hartlett. But he got free. Oh, he's going to go again. He was going to go again. He decided to give it to Hartlett. Oh, who no, that's the way. kicked a magnificent goal and made that too. He's a star. <laughs> at number six, I've got Ryan Griffin. Uh, great skills, very smooth mover. Runs and carries with the ball really well. You know, runs 30, kicks at 50, 80 metre player they might call him, and really took his game to a, the next level last year in a young dog's midfield. It's Griffin to run with confidence and to kick the ball deep. Higgins was leading back to the goal square. I don't know why he didn't keep going. In the end, the ball might beat him there and dribble through. Somehow it's a goal. Is that the spark? Chance here. Mitchell seizing upon another ball again. Oh, Terrific well smother from Ryan Griffin. Around the Hawkins wing, Griffin takes on Bateman by foot, did it well. Runs to 50, Griffin. Can he lift them out of the mire? Oh, that's a good goal. He's a star. This and not star. before time. Sam Fisher comes in at number five. Uh, reads the play really well. One of the best intercept marks in the competition. Plays that drop-off role exceptionally well, but can also shut down an opponent. And yeah, really the leader of that St Kilda back line. Puts it inside 50. Oh, that's a good mark to Fisher. Milburn, play fair, no jokes. Get him out. No, 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 no. And now through comes Fisher, <laughs> and he might make him pay the ultimate oh. price. He has. That's what no jokes will do to you. <laughs> Jay Schultz at number four. Again, might be a little bit biased here having played with him, but I don't think Jay gets enough credit. Um, I think when he's up and going, and obviously not injured, had a bit of trouble with that last year, he's one of the best forward in the competition. Very quick, great hands, and one of the best set shot for goals I've ever seen. Schultz for his third goal, directly in front. Very reliable kick, he gets this. Schultz with a back! Oh! Sensational grab from Jay Schultz! Sam Jacobs from the Crows comes in at number three. Another great story, you know, from Carlton's rookie list to one of the best ruckmen in the competition. The main reason why the Crows were so successful last year. Got a huge engine, gets around the ground really well and yeah, obviously one of the best tack ruckmen in the competition and really lucky not to be All-Australian last year. Sloan inside 50 to Jacobs. 100-point margin still on offer. Jacobs kicks the goal. Chapman right with him. First game of Lions gets a touch. Gives it up to Jacobs. Long from outside, 50. It's there. 
Shawnee Burgoyne at number two. You know, having played with Sean at Port for many years, he was probably the best clearance player I've ever seen, and it was really great watching himself and Peter, you know, play together and, and read off each other. Uh, elite skills, very smooth mover, and um, really great to see him you know, step up his game last year after a few years with really, um, each other at Hawthorne. Salapik knocks it forward to Bergwijn, and here's the last block for Collingwood Watt running with the ball because he kept running. Three bounces, well, well, chases him down. Four bounces. He's running around into the arc to open it up. This will be a magnificent goal, and it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, gee, that's a poor handball. Bolton. Bergwijn cut it off originally, and now he can hurt them. And he does. won't come as a surprise to anyone, but Matthew Pavlich tops the list at number one. Having gone to school with him at Sacred Heart College in Adelaide, you could always tell from a young age he was going to be a superstar. Obviously stood out back then and stands out to this day. Arguably Frio's greatest ever player, greatest goal scorer, multiple All-Australian and best and fairest winner and a true star of the AFL competition. Crowley running through centre-half, oh. forward Pavlich. Flores! Oh! The skipper! Goes down towards Pavlich at half-forward. He and Lonigan battle, bounces, Pavlich got a chance to wrap it up here, thought about Walters, sold the foot candy, right foot, straight, Pedro 